Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I want to talk about this intense beef that's going on between Lennox Lewis and Anthony Joshua. Uh, have you, they seem to be milking it for all it's worth, don't they? But uh, as far as I'm concerned... Uh, I don't even think it's intense beef. I mean, I keep seeing people putting all these things like intense beef, raw beef, and as far as I'm concerned, it's funny pheasant or wriggly squid or laughing lobster. It's all a load of old tosh. All a load. All a load of old tosh. But, you know, it, it is what it is, isn't it? So, but Lennox Lewis... Lennox Lewis is an all-time great. He's got 14 wins over former, current and future world champions. Joshua's got four. And basically they were all gifts, weren't they, really? If truth be known. Uh, a lot of them gifts. Vladimir, his best win. 40-odd year old. When he 41 in his 42nd year. Just turned 41. Uh you know, who, who, who has Anthony Joshua? Who is his best win? Like I've just said, it's Vladimir. And Vladimir's beat, what, 20 world champions? You know, he's an all-time great Vladimir, but when Anthony Joshua... When Anthony Joshua fought... Vladimir... Vladimir were in his 69th fight. 69th fight. 69th fight, and he was. 40 odd year old. Do you know what I mean? It's. Uh, he was 41 year old and one month. So he's in his 42nd year. He's in his 42nd year. 69th fight and Tyson Fury they already softened him up you know 369 rounds he's done do you know what I mean yeah he's a big puncher 77% KO ratio big 6 foot 6 lump but you know he was there for taking money just like Tyson Fury when he fought him he was there for the taking now Tyson didn't want to fight him when he first had the opportunity in 2012 did he now he waited it out and he got him at the right time uh, Tyson didn't want to fight him when Tony Thompson got the chance to fight him after Mormek so do you know what I mean uh, It is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. But uh, I just think that people have got a little bit carried away with Anthony Joshua's CV. Yeah, he's beat four world champions, but when you go through these world champions who Joshua's beat, I'm going to go through them now and I can see where Lennox Lewis is coming from because this has been coming a long time. Right. Joshua beat Charlie Martin, right? That were a gift. Tyson Fury's belt. We know that for a fact. Martin won it by default as well. And he'd not beat a champion. Brazil, he's not even Euro level. He'd, he'd, he's British level. Eric Molina, part-time school teacher. Vladimir Klitschko in his 42nd year. Takam, a late replacement. Referee stop fight early. And he was just getting his range. Joseph Parker, referee spoilt it. He was a stinker. Povetkin, I thought, were life and death in at first three rounds. Life and death. And then Andy Ruiz. He must have looked at things that Povetkin were doing correctly. And then Andy, Re Andy Ruiz just wiped floor with him, didn't he? But... Uh, and then we've got the rematch, 7th of December. I don't think it happens in Saudi. I think it's all a load of old poppycock. But, uh, but you look at uh, Lennox Lewis. You look at Lennox Lewis's record. You know, the guy's a don. The guy's a legend. 
Uh, I mean, it, <sighs> leading up to winning, leading up to fighting for the world title, he'd already beat Gary Mason. Uh, Mike Weaver, former world champion. Glenn McClory. You know, th there's three good wins there. Tyrrell Biggs. Do you, know what I, do you know what I mean? Derek Sweet D. Williams. He beat them guys there. And then he beat Ruddock. You know. Now, when he beat Ruddock, I know you were going on about the fact they were fighting Ruddock for Commonwealth. Well, the WBC declared Lennox Lewis the champion after he beat Ruddock because uh, Riddick Bow put the belt in the bin, didn't he? Now, he's then gone on to beat Tony Tucker, Frank Bruno. Do you know what I mean? Phil Jackson, Oliver McCall. You know, he, he lost to McCall, but he beat him at rematch. Lionel Butler, Justin Fortune, Tommy Morrison, Ray Mercer. You know, Akin one day, he were undefeated. Galotta, he gave Riddick, Riddick Bow problems. Shannon Briggs, massive puncher. Mavrovic, undefeated. You know, Evander Holyfield, he fought him twice, he won both, but one with a draw. Michael Grant, who a lot of people know that I've said that Anthony Joshua is another Michael Grant. Well, we all know why, don't we? Same physique, same sort of height, same sort of profile, and just, you know, he were he, a padded record. He got in there with Lennox, he got ice. Frank, Franz Boffer, another tough guy. David Tua, massive puncher. Rahman knocked him out. He came back and knocked him out. Do you know what I mean? Mike Tyson, yeah, he, he, he's seen better days, but still a win in it. Mike Tyson were 49 and 3 when he fought him. You know, he'd only, he'd only lost to Holyfield and Douglas. And then Vitaly Klitschko, life and death. You know, and then he realised his, his time were up 16 and 16 plus years ago, but. I dare say Lennox could come back now and probably hang with Joshua for 12 rounds if he wanted to. He's that technical. You know, he's beat everybody he's forced. He's fought. He's going to go down as an all-time great, in my opinion. Now, Anthony Joshua, at the moment, he doesn't even, he doesn't even go in top 50. Uh, he doesn't even get in the top 50 heavyweights of all time, in my opinion. Not even in the top 50. Because his CV's that poor. He's a manufactured fighter. So, that's my opinion, and I'm entitled to it. But, uh, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, leave, your comment, leave your comments in the, the comments section there. Because if you like and subscribe, especially subscribing, you're going to get your... You'll get your porky fix straight away to your phone. Alright, peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing thank you for the back in the channel south yorkshire packaging and climate cool all right